Welcome back, everybody. Now, the last time we had all of these stupendous machines together. Holy sugar. Oh, that was <laughs> yes! We raced them around the FOD in death defying feats of power, speed, and agility. And we did literally just escape death, didn't we? We did, we but, did. So we're back, and we've got one upgrade each to see if that helps us survive a bit better. So we've actually shown that these three bikes stood up to a lot of dangerous abuse. Yes. More than the presenters themselves, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and if you've not seen the original video with these bikes, I recommend check it out. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty wild. There was a lot of hooting a horn. Um, <laughs> there was. And, um, but something that a lot of you mentioned in the comments is you'd like to see us upgrade them or mm. see you know, what we can actually do with the bikes. So we've been granted by the kind producers one upgrade each or for each of the bikes but only one to see what makes the biggest difference and uh, what's the best kind of bang for your buck although that does bring me on to something yes exactly some of the eagle-eyed amongst you may already notice that the tires on mine are vastly different than the slick terrible tires that were, were so on bad. it originally oh my god they were awful weren't they <laughs> and that's actually done for a previous video so if you want to see why those tires are on here go check that one out So then, to find out if these upgrades are indeed worth it, we need to set a benchmark, of course, and that means testing, experimenting, and challenge time. So I've got an uphill, a downhill, and a trials challenge lined up. And the first upgrade we're gonna make is on this, the B-Twin, and it is gonna be the brakes. And on this bike, it's the drivetrain. And last, but by no means least, is this, the mighty Saracen, which is having a bar and stem upgrade. Ow. Isaac, first challenge, it's the climbing challenge. So yeah. I think with that, I'm going to set off. You I'll crack see on, you mate. Yeah. at the top. Right. Tally up, 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 up. <laughs> so then, a climbing challenge. Well, as the upgrade on this bike is brakes, I don't think it's really going to make any difference going up. However, going down, it most definitely is. And because of that, I think I'm going to cruise my way up. It's a rather casual climb today, hello. <laughs> Although I have run out of gears. Okay, we're nearly there on a relaxed climb. And we're done. Over to you, Isaac. Unlike Rich's upgrade, I think mine is actually going to help quite a lot on the climb because I'm going to have extra gears, a nice smooth running drivetrain, and it will get me out of that hill. And it's GMBN Challenge Day, so of course the goggles are back. Oh. Here we go then. And oh. finito. That looks tough, but do you know what's oh. even tougher? You gotta get back down there, do oh, it again, no, mate. Not again. See ya. And finally, on my trusty speed machine Saracen, I'm gonna be swapping out the cockpit, the bars and stem, um, to give a bit of a, a shorter stem, a lower climbing position, more leverage on the bars. It actually will make the climb better, I think. Oh, that's a big climb, but you know, I still gave some beans. Okay, Isaac, it's time for the next one. It is, of course, downhill time. Rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? On three, go. One, two, three. Boosh. See ya. I better go, and it's this guy. Severe. Eh? Luckily, I got my goggles on. <laughs> You're on a severe bike. Oh, he's gone high. Oh, he's held it. That's Isaac gone. Stop watch on. See you in a moment.
not only did I have to go first, but I've drawn the short straw of this bike. Let's go, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, so the clock's still running. Oh, God. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, my Lord. Oh, in with the 180 skids <laughs> as well. Okay, downhill run's done, mate. It's now time to get a quick bit of trials on. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we're here on the slippery log in the forest, <laughs> and um, we've got the trials challenge. We've got a very expertly marked out course to test brake control, gearing, geometry, power, and whether we can make it round the log, round the tree, round the tree again, over the log again. Probably not, but we're going to give it a good go. Let's find out. Okay, so. All right, and he's up. Oh, he's gone for a fast start, but now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It literally, I put the front brake on and it just rolled back. No, I wouldn't do that, mate. All right. Take two. Round two. It's, it's interesting how neither of us trials is not our thing. Oh, look at him go. Oh, actually, that was pretty good. Look at the control. You don't need upgraded brakes. Oh. 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 It's getting quite sensual, these noises. Oh, my yes, God. Look at him go. Oh, my God. He's going to do it. Nick, he's going to clean the line. I think I line. am actually going to do it. Oh. Oh my god! Uh, god, watch out, Martin. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Well, oh, I mean, I'd take that. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad, right? I that see. was that was that was sick. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be up against it that's now. That's literally wow. as best as I could have done, I think. Bring on the Marin in three, two, one, Ale. Ale, there's not much Here we go. about this. Yes, that was a good one as well. Nice. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> okay, the finesse on the turn wasn't quite there on that one. I'm sure this is where gearing will come into play. Oh, that's many dabs. Right, dabs, 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 dabs. Oh, we're just we're doing the whole thing again. Yeah. Well, you got a do-over, didn't you? That's true, I did. Okay, nice. It's a solid start. Yeah, this is the really hard bit. Yeah, it's off camber routes. Here we go. That's, okay, okay. Big fast plants round. I like it. BMX. And, whoa, that's our go on. Yes. Okay, here we go. And then the last log hop. This is quite tricky, right? Because it's actually massive. Oh, it's massive. Yeah. Jeez. Yes! <sighs> oh, so oh. close. <laughs> oh, that wasn't quite rich pain levels of expertise and no. skill, but... I think from this, Isaac, we can deduce we are not trials riders, but will the oh, upgrades... Make any difference? Yeah, well, we've got we to, leave, go we got to leave summary for improvement, yeah, don't we? I mean, we have. The I'm more scared terror. than I was last week at the Chateau World, Look at, World at Series. At least the front end suit. It's a trial stem. <laughs> <laughs> I've Take done two. The, I've done the bash guard. <laughs> Team Saracen. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a Matt Jones. He's doing this corner better than on the Marin. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Come on, you're sort of nearly there. Uh, do you think I'm doing well? Yeah, no, unbelievably right. Yeah, yeah. Now the hardest part. <laughs> to be fair. I think that was the best way of doing it. Right, back to the car and let's swap out the parts. <sighs> upgrade time then, and I have gone for these. Clark's C4 mm. brake upgrades. We said we were doing the yeah. brakes. Yeah. These are 200 quid for a set four piston. They look remarkably like other brakes on the market as well, yeah, should we I say. Guess, I guess all brakes have reached the point where they're all quite similar. Mm, mm. Mineral oil. So they are, uh, it, is, it is marked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, fresh discs are included. That's both brakes. That's the whole thing. That's Rotors the whole lot. Oh, that's, that's everything in that box. What have you got? I I've can see got, what you've oh, got. Yeah. Well, I've got, for £175, I think, I've got a full Shimano Dior 10 speed drivetrain, chain, cassette, shifter, rear derailleur, and the works. chain wheels. So. And that's for the Marin. And then for the yeah. Saracen, 
You've got these bad boys, right? There we go. Newt proof cockpit, ergon grips. I think it's about 150 quid for this. Yeah. And that's. And I think that's drastically going to change that because that stem's like an yes. old school trial stem. And Which, as we bar. saw, was insane for the trials. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, so with that then, I think let's get to work. Throw these zip ties in a ocean somewhere for the turtles. If I was back in a bike shop, I'd have some damn great forceps to just cut all this off and put it straight in the metal bin. One grip off. <laughs> Quite a satisfying sound, actually, isn't it? Oh, don't put this in the video, obviously, but these brakes aren't going to work. Oh, sounds good, doesn't it? Right, the amendments have been made, the upgrade's done. I've got my new brakes, you've got your new bar and stem. Yeah. Looking rather snazzy, new and the brakes. Marin has got his drivetrain. So with that, it's time to climb uphill again. So I'll see you at the top, I'll mate. See you a bit, mate. The brakes are on then. There we go, looking fancy. And uh, well, as predicted, it's making no odds to going uphill time. So there's really not much to say actually on this one. They're not rubbing, much like the ones before. So we're all good, we can just cruise to the top. The time would only differ, I suppose, from my tiredness. Okay, and climb done. Let's wait for Isaac and then uh, summarize, shall we? This one I'm looking forward to. This Marin has now got 10 speed, one by Dior drivetrain and just the, the lower gears, the bigger range, and having a fresh chain with those, those rollers aren't worn, so it's just gonna help me fly up here even faster than I was before, which was obviously a blinding pace. Look at the cadence. Look at me go. So now I've got some nice wide bars with a bit more sweep. I've got a short stem, it's brought the steering in. I've got some amazing grips um, to wrap my podgy little hands around. And uh, I'm looking forward to the climb actually, because I think this is going to make a massive difference. I feel like I can rip the skin off a custard tart with these bars. I've got so much leverage. Oh. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the top. I've been keeping this Thank one you. warm for you whilst you went down and did another lap. So I thought we should sort Thank of you. summarize, shall we say, yes. with the parts that we've changed. Now for me, obviously the brakes were changed on the climbing portion of this video. It made no odds, as expected. No. Do you know if they're any lighter? I don't know if they're any lighter. I don't have any weights. I'm not sure that would really have come into uh, to play too much. There's no rubbing. So really, yeah. you know, from, from this bike's upgrade point of view, climbing, the brakes didn't make no odds. Now, what about you on, let's go first with the Marin. Oh, super good. I mean, a lot of it is obviously, it's just a new drivetrain and yeah. you get that lovely power transfer. But having the lower gears, I was able to turn much higher cadence the whole way up. I wasn't like stalling. Okay. Uh, it was just, so yeah, easier gear, really good. Yeah, basically easier spin gears. away, cruise along, yeah. shifted smoothly. Yeah. I mean, as you'd kind of expect, basically, right? Basically, yeah. That's why we did it. It's meant. The Team Saracen Traverse. Now, that's vastly different at the front, right? What's yeah. going on there then? Oh, it's so good. The bars have come out, the levers have come up, the grips are fresh, and the stem has come down and in. And it's just, it's just modern geometry, basically. And it's yeah. so much stiffer as well. Right. So uh, I've got a more sort of like solid setup. I can lean over the front more even though the stem's shorter it's lower mm. and then because my hands have come out they've brought my chest down yeah so then for the steep bits it's just way more comfortable i was going to say so that essentially what that's done is on a climb on the steep especially where it did get steep it's brought your whole body weight forward so yeah, you're not exactly. being a larry loop out the whole way yeah uh, mm. oh, i can't recommend it enough nice no one wants to be a larry loop out well with that then we're at the top so it means the downhill section okay. let's see if that over the front <laughs> position oh, plays yeah. then <laughs> right to the start Okay, Isaac, once again, we find ourselves at the top of the down now, and I think this is where our modifications are really going to shine through. I don't know what you mean. I think they've been mega for me so far, but <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. I certainly think, I think the drivetrain is kind of going to be a bit null and void on this one, I'll be honest. Mm. I think the brakes are going to come into their own, and I think, uh, obviously, your bar and stem on the other one is also going to be a, a huge difference. But we've set times already, so we need to set times again. Yeah. 
So I think with that, I better crack on again. You better go. All right, see you in a mo. Oh, hard on the binders, and they work well. Puddle. Nice, they go well actually, to be fair, don't they? Time, let's wait for Isaac. So Rich said the drive trade's not going to make a difference, but actually I think because the chain's not banging around with that clutch mech, it gives you so much more confidence in the bike to then kind of push and tell what's going on and listen to the tires and stuff that actually I'm hoping it does make a difference. But uh, let's, let's crack on and see how fast I go. He's got up high. So I'm dropping in on the final run on the downhill track now on my Saracen, trusty bike. Let's get it. Was that? Oh well, that was class the puddle, but um, it was wild. Yeah, it's quite bumpy old run. Yeah, it is. It is better. It's a lot more composed. Does it? Especially the wider bars got to feel way more in control. Yeah, right? wider bars and actually just more like the grips are a bit more. They just take it softer, kind of. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like just bit. feel the control for it. So, yeah. what was the time you did before on it? The time before, I think, was something like two forty-five. It wasn't wow. fast. <laughs> yeah, there's it some wild fast. moments over the routes. And then, yeah. what time did you do then? Then with the improvement, two thirty-two. Oh, it's massive actually a improvement. massive improvement. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's and just um, from being more in control. Basically, yeah. And then I had more time to think, mm. and then yeah, just better. More right, so cockpit, a well worthy upgrade on yeah, that front. Definitely. Well, I can tell you on this with the upgraded brakes, it was you know the downhill was always going to make a huge difference, right? Because yeah, you can uh, yeah. brake later, you can brake more controlled. Uh, and at, it showed, oh, I did a 151 on the first yeah. run uh, with the brakes before. Fine, fine, mate. Yeah, and then on this bad boy, uh, as it is now, was a 146, so five seconds quicker. And I wow. think, yeah, yeah. you know, I'll be honest, they've, they're slightly bedded in, but not completely as well. <laughs> no, so no, I think, you know, like a couple more runs, I think you'd really knock some time off. So a, a you know, on yeah. a good little bike, a well worth upgrade. 100%, I think as well, like, and this ties into our other, other upgrade on the drivetrain, it's yes. not just about the speed, but with new brakes, you get that uh, durability and stuff that's yeah. just gonna, it's not just about shaving off the time, but it's no, shaving exactly. off the headaches and like making yeah, sure they work Yeah, the future-proofing longer. in a way, isn't it? Yeah. So then on the Marin, how was the Marin, yeah, the Marin with the drivetrain? was good fun. Yeah? Um, I'm trying to remember the time because it was all the way this morning, but I did a 2.10 with okay. the updated parts yeah. and it was about 2.18. Okay. Out. So it, I didn't think it was going to make that much difference, to be honest. Yeah. But it, again, I know I keep going on about this, but because it was quiet, it just made me feel better. So you could focus then, more on the riding? I could focus more on the riding. Okay. And then I probably was getting like a little bit more of power out of the corners and yeah. stuff like that. I don't think that makes much difference on such short track with such little pedaling. On such a ropey bike. On such a ropey <laughs> bike. But it's just, everything's just a little bit more dialed. Yeah. Um, I didn't drop my chain at all. You know, it's just yeah. better. Okay, well, look, now it's time for your favourite, my favourite, a fan favourite, the Nick's trials. Favorite. <laughs> Nick's favourite behind <laughs> the camera. Let's go do some trials then. Nice one. 
Isaac, we are back. Now, we trial's are. time to end the video on. Now, uh, we're not timing it. We're not really looking at dabs, because let's face it. It's pretty loose. We're isn't it? not trials <laughs> riders. But obviously, you know, brakes, my upgrade should sort of, you know, more brake control, play a big dividend yeah. here. More control on your wider bars and Hopefully. better shifting or easier gearing on the Marin. I think gearing, I'm not really shifting in this, but I just, that lower gear should help. Well, no worries of it slipping or anything like that. No, exactly. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? All right then. One, two, three. Oh, God, two See in a ya. row. I don't know what I'm doing. Man, I'm a rock, paper, scissors master. All right, Mr. Bow, watch this. <laughs> okay. No, oh, oh. <laughs> I like, just went silent for a second there. <laughs> well, we said about that smoother shifting. Yeah. This is the good pipe. It, like, you did well here last time. I think you got it. Oh, you, oh help. Uh, help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, oh. I think from that we can take that uh, we are not trials masters. But oh. Isaac, Sorry, don't Martin. worry, you get a whole nother go in a moment. On an even worse bike. On an even worse bike. <laughs> oh, I'll have the, a go. I fell in the nettles as well. I fell in the nettles. <laughs> right, Martin Ashton. Oh, see that? I could brake quicker. Oh, look at the braking control. He's made it around the first corner. Look at him go. Oh, oh! look at the techers. Actually going really well. This couldn't be going better, really, but this is the key section now. Come on, Rich. He's lining it up. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's hanging on to it. Oh. oh, oh. I mean, not bad, well, though. That's, that's good going, <laughs> eh? I'll take that again. Uh, thank you, mate. Right, the Saracen. I don't Redemption. know, I'm, 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 I'm grateful for the enthusiasm, Richard. Oh, heck. Oh, God. Okay, that's I, a strong start. I tell you what, the extra leverage is good. I think I'm in the wrong gear. Foot plant round. I mean, you just walked around it. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, I like it. You know, you no, got rounds. I got rounds. That's, that's what I'm here for. The, the, yes, there we go. Right. The brace. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't do it. I, I feel like we might have to cut oh. our losses on this one. <laughs> Isaac, thank God the trials oh. is done because that was an that, emotional time for both of us. It was a trialing testing time. It was it? a trialing moment of our lives. Yeah. So really we need to sort of think about what is the best upgrade then. Now looking at our bikes today, three very different upgrades, three very mm. different bikes. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I what mean, you, I mean, it's difficult because we didn't yeah. ride. I rode two of the bikes. Yeah. But I didn't ride yours. How were the brakes? To be fair, you know. So I think when you're upgrading something, you need to look at what parts coming off, the condition it's in, how mm. well it works. Is it old? How you know? Or you know, cost of replacement is a big one, obviously as well. My brakes to replace were. £200 for the full set, including discs, like we said. Yeah. And brakes would be a lot more than that. However, I do think they did make a big difference to the riding on that bike. Now, that bike's yeah. got some pretty good tyres on it at the Mo 27.5, so you can carry a lot of speed. When I actually did a video upgrading the tyres, I was like, well, the brakes are holding me back here because I can carry so much more okay, speed. Okay. So the, I, I yeah. think on that bike, yes, the brakes were a very good upgrade. Mm. And would, given not, I know you've not ridden the other ones, yeah. but you've seen me. You know, I've seen, you, yeah, I've seen you on them. Uh, do you think that's the one you would choose? Yes. Yeah, okay. I think it, I genuinely okay. think yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, yeah, I think it is okay. actually because oh, it's tricky because it once is. you get to a certain skill level as well, should we say, when you are going a lot faster and carrying speed, mm. you do brakes matter. However, if I jumped yeah. on the Saracen with those V brakes, I yeah, I mean we couldn't upgrade no. those really. No, that's exactly. It, and what about yourself? I don't know. It, for the most immediate response difference, we are like, wow, this is so different and so much like more fun. It was the bars and stem and grips. Yeah. However, if I was choosing one to do... You can only of, choose one out well, of three. That's it. And so that, yeah. Exactly. So if I am choosing one and I was thinking about value for money and long, like just all round the best upgrade, mm -hmm. blended with the 
that made the way it made the bike ride better it would be the drivetrain because it was only 25 pounds more than the cockpit and 25 pounds less than the brakes yeah and i got so much i got like the whole chain, rings, chain cassette shifter mech and that's going to last for ages yeah and it did it meant i could ride up the hills better it meant i could ride down better it was quieter uh, i just think that's the best package but that's kind of because of the cost as well so yeah. if it was purely a performance thing i might think more about the brakes yeah think more about the bars and stem but this is like a real world if you had to choose one you got to choose one so otherwise i'm going to make you ride trials say. forever oh i couldn't even <laughs> I can't can't imagine even ride it. one Just let alone forever. <laughs> so then when it comes to having to choose that upgrade i think really if you're looking to go faster then definitely the brakes are the way forwards. If you're putting yeah. in the mileage, then... It's the drivetrain. Yeah. Like, that's just going to last so much longer. Yeah, and if you've got maybe sort of a more budget bike, should we say, or, or slightly more old school, mm. and you really want to just make a huge difference for the cheapest price, then handling. You can, of course, get bar and stem for cheaper than that. So, yeah, um, much cheaper, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. De oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. You don't need a carbon bar or anything like that, for sure. So, do you know what? If you're looking to make an upgrade, what are you thinking of upgrading? Why? Well, let us know down below, right? Yeah, get them in the comments. We'll be looking at that because these bikes, they can be upgraded a lot more. I think we should be going with it, you know. We can make them primo. 100%. Keep your eyes peeled for them in the future. But from us for now in the FOD, we'll see you later. Bye.